Society of Amranthayan Educators of Happy Valley Business School presents Talks on Business Essentials. We talk what we know, we know what we talk. Knowledge is cumulative, let us acquire. The four P's of marketing are one of the first things that are taught in any marketing class. They are long-standing elements of any business model. The goal of any company is to get the product that meets the needs of the customers and to generate interest so that the customers can buy the product. The four P's were designed with the brick and mortar companies in mind, but a lot has changed after the internet. So the four P's have moved to accommodate the four A's, the four C's and the four E's lately. The four P's of the marketing mix have been overtaken by the four E's where a customer looks at experience primarily, willing to give anything in exchange for that experience. They want it to be used anywhere and everywhere and he doesn't mind evangelizing the entire process of using the product and service. The five eyes are the uh, directions or the instructions that a company needs to follow today. The five eyes are identification, individualism, interaction, integration and integrity. You are successful as a company if you can attain the five eyes. Every target market requires a unique marketing mix and strategy to identify the needs of its customers. A strategy must be constructed for each of the four P's and all the strategies must be blended with the remaining P's. The strength of one P is only as high as the weakest piece. So the first P, the product, the first question that any marketer ever has, will my product sell? So how are we going to understand what a product is and what should a company be doing to satiate the needs of its customers? The product levels as given by Philip Kotler, it starts with the core benefits. A marketer has to consider what a customer expects and try to exceed the expectations of what a customer wants. If he is able to do that, he has won the game. So the core benefit is the reason, the main reason for which a customer is buying the product. The basic product should contain the minimum features to attain the core benefit. The expected product would be the additional features that customers might expect from the product. And the augmented product are any extra product variations or add-ons which differentiate it from its competitor's product. And the potential product is the product of the future, the dream that a customer can only have and it is up to the company to convert the dream into a reality. The product levels help the marketer to identify how to satisfy all the needs of the customers. Due to COVID restrictions, I'm unable to uh, get out of home and I thought I will just uh, use uh, an example which I can get staying right here at my house. What you see behind me is my uh, dwelling place and I thought I would use that as an uh, example. Please do not think that I am marketing uh, this builder or I am marketing uh, the place of my uh, residence. Well, uh, talking about uh, product uh, levels, the first one as we all know is our basic uh, need. As a customer, my basic need was to find a accommodation which would suit me with respect to uh, the aesthetics, with respect to the affordability and 100% security. Not uh, and not forgetting the facts that location and uh, the neighborhood also does matter. So these were my basic needs when I thought of uh, purchasing a property. So what's expected of a home 
was of course a few rooms consisting of uh, living room, bedrooms and uh, kitchen and uh, dining. Well, uh, so do you think that I would be happy with uh, the basic uh, product that's offered by this builder? Definitely not. Because somewhere deep in my mind, there's always a need for some something extra and that extra is called as the expected product. The expected product or services might not be that which I shall explicitly express but which is there deep down in my mind and uh, definitely a builder needs to recognize that and offer it to me. As a, as a customer who has visited many uh, builders and sites, the minimum expectation that I have of a residential property would be amenities like a gymnasium or maybe a swimming pool. So are my expectations uh, in line with every other customer? Yes, definitely. Here we go. I came here looking for a nice uh, place to settle down. And uh, what interests me is this swimming pool here. Not necessarily that I would be using the swimming pool very often, but definitely it does match my expectations of the amenities that I look forward in a residential community like this. Impressed with the amenities like a, a gym and uh, the swimming pool, and here I am trying to you know see something else here. There's a steam room here, there is a spa room here, and of course uh, there is a snooker room here. Well, it's getting beyond my expectations. And this is uh, a badminton court, something which I had not expected. Again, I love sports. Maybe my mind starts working now, Saturdays and probably Sunday afternoons. This is my place. Nobody has offered uh, this facility, neither was I expecting it. But uh, yeah, when it is given to me, why not? So there it goes, from my expectations to the extras that the builder is planning to give its customers. This is an example of an augmented uh, product, the, uh, the badminton court over here. Again, an augmented product, a tennis court. Wow. Very nice. And I'm beginning to really love the place that I'm going to buy. Am I getting closer to my decision? So, as I walk here, my mind is uh, wondering how many kilometers of uh, walking or jogging can I do in a day. I start feeling guilty. I start feeling guilty because I have parents at home and I wonder what's in it for them. And this is going to be something which my parents are going to enjoy. I've never seen anything like this before. Such a lovely terrace garden. This garden is uh, in the first floor. My parents are definitely going to enjoy it. My children are going to enjoy this play space. Am I a happy customer? <laughs> definitely yes. Am I a thrilled customer? A very very thrilled customer. So am I going to buy this uh, project? Definitely yes. This product which has been so beautifully wrapped by the marketer is going to be bought by a customer like me. But does the story end here? Yes for me, but no for the marketer. What is shown as an augmented product by the marketer for this project very soon would become the expected product for the uh, next project. So it's a never ending uh, cycle for the marketer. The augmented product becomes the basic product very quickly. So let the marketer come out with creative ideas, with creative products, understand the needs and wants of the customers and uh, come out with a beautiful product like what we have here today. Thanks for watching and would be happy if you could post your comments on what you think could be the potential product for a housing project. Thank you.